everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a huge lipstick declutter. Um, <laughs> well, I have a huge lipstick collection. I don't know if it'll be a huge declutter. But we're going to go through everything that I have and see if there is anything bad that needs to be thrown away, what I can possibly pass along, and what I am keeping. So I've been really, really wanting to do this for a while. So let's just go ahead and dive in. Okay, so if you are wondering what the heck all these bags are, these are my lip glosses and my lipsticks. I really don't have a lot of room uh, for storage, so it is just a lot easier for me to kind of keep things organized in the bags. Like this is my lip glosses. These are all of my bullet lipsticks and then I have like these uh, special one right here for colored lipsticks. Like I, I have it kind of organized, but <laughs> uh, like I said, I don't have a lot of space. So we need to go through these and see if there's something that I can get rid of, uh, make sure nothing is expired that I can throw away. So I guess the first one we're going to start with, um, let's start with something simple. I'm gonna put these aside for a second. Now, these I actually went ahead and put out. These are the ones that are on actually my makeup desk, uh, kind of the ones that I keep out and about and I use a lot. Um, like these two right here, they're my minis, but I love these so much. Uh, this is Beach Babe, which is a beautiful nude shade. I really do enjoy that. And then Salt Life, which is a little bit more of a, a pinky mauve shade. It's really really pretty I definitely will keep those uh, this is my Fenty Beauty uh, Fenty glow gloss this normally stays in my purse but I needed it out one day and I just haven't put it back in my purse it's actually I don't know if you can tell but it is really scratched up from being in my purse so this one is highly loved this is my only Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I love it so much uh, this is in the shade very Victoria I have it on. It is a beautiful nude shade. Oh my gosh. I am so in love with it. I do have to be careful because it's not like, I felt like it's a little detached at the bottom. I just got this one. I love it so stinking much. I cannot wait to get another one. I love the formula of this. This is the gloss from Jeffree Star. So beautiful. Uh, if you want to see what it looks like, I'll have the unboxing and the cards up top. You guys can go check that out. So beautiful. This one's probably going to end up in my purse. Uh, and then I have Sex on the Peach. This one stays on my makeup desk as well. I love the way that this smells. It's another beautiful nude shade. I do have a lot of nudes you guys are going to see. But you know, my argument is every nude is different. So. These are my two of my most used uh, Huda Beauty lipsticks. This is probably my number one formula. I love this formula. Especially with um, my lip being crooked up top. It definitely stays on my lips very very well so uh, this is in the shade venus and wifey i'll actually go ahead and swatch this for you guys i love these two shades so much so this one is venus and then we have a lighter nude shade i think this is the lightest one that i have of hers and then this is like wifey and i use this one probably more so than venus but they are both absolutely stunning can you see that Oh, yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. So these stay in my main drawer because I use those all the time. And then I actually like storing my... Oh, no. I forgot to put that down before I closed it. Dang it. I actually uh, love storing my Jeffree Star Bullet Lipsticks uh, out where I can see them. So uh, this is in the shade Yummy, which is actually not as purple as you would think. It's just like a shimmery color, um, like a shimmery purple. But, uh, see, I don't know if you can see that. Beautiful. Love it. I was really surprised when I actually swatched that for the first time. Uh, and this is in the shade Celebrity Skin. A friend of mine sent this to me because she knew I really wanted the color. It's like a purpley um, nude shade. So beautiful. Love it. This is another favorite of mine uh, from the Disney Frozen collection from ColourPop. Uh, this one's in the shade Going North. And I love the packaging on this. Ugh. Color's so gorgeous. 
Now I actually still have this out because I just used this for a, a look I did recently. I haven't put it back yet. Uh, this is in the Urban Decay. Uh, this is the shade Big Bang. This is a metallized lipstick. A lot of people were wondering what pink sparkly lipstick I was wearing. And this is the shade right here. Um, really, really happy to have received that. I never thought I'd be able to put it to use, but I actually really enjoy the way that the look turned out with it. This is the new Jeffree Star lipstick that I just received. Um, this is the, was the mystery shade. I haven't opened it or swatched it yet. Um, I thought I was going to save it and keep it and use it, but I, I'm still a little undecided, so I'm just going to leave this as is. Now, this is my only uh, lipstick from the Balm. I really enjoy this lippy. It's, uh, once again, a really, really pretty shade, but uh, sometimes it doesn't go with the look like I think it will just because it's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, pinky, I guess you can say, like a pink color uh, rather than a nude. Um, but it's still really nice. It's really comfortable on the lips. I would like to try other shades in this. So that stays in my main drawer. All right, so these are my bullet lipsticks. Um, we're gonna start with this one because I know I will be keeping this one. This is my Marc Jacob lipsticks. This was limited edition. Um, I love everything about this lipstick. So first of all, I love the packaging. I love the fact that it's got like a magnetic clasp to it. Um, this is in the shade Perfect. <laughs> so cute. Ah, uh, just love it. It still smells really good. So um, definitely we'll be keeping that. The next one we have is Set Sail. These are some of my favorite lipsticks from, um, from Tarte. They're uh, splash lipsticks or whatever they're called. Set Sail is like a brownie nude shade. Really, really enjoy that color. Keeping that. Definitely keeping um, Rum Punch. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. I've used that in several different looks. And then uh, the uh, Siesta, it's like a brownie nude. Beautiful. Now this is actually a little bit different than Set Sail. They kind of, Set Sail is definitely a little bit more pink and then Siesta is more brown. Now I remember getting this in one of my lip boxes that I had bought. This is from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Brocade. It's like a purple color. I, ha I think I've only used it like one time. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I would like to come up with another look um, to maybe try and use it again. It doesn't have a smell to it. We're still good. Nothing on the outside. Still looks like a fresh lipstick. So I think I'm going to hang on to that one. Um, this one is Urban Decay's 1993. I love this bullet lipstick just because of the fact it reminds me of that grungy uh, 90s look with the brown. Um, it looks to still be good. Nothing around it. No marks. No little bumps or anything. Still smells fine. So we're going to keep that. Now these are fairly new. Or uh, more new. So I know these are going to be fine. This is in the shade Bell. This is from the ColourPop Disney collection. Oh my. I think I've maybe swatched it. <laughs> Um, definitely a pink shade. Very, very pretty. Bill's one of my favorite characters. So keeping that. This is in the shade Scorpio Moon. I am a Scorpio. I'm definitely keeping this one. I know this one stains a lot. Um, so I'm probably not going to use it as much. But uh, we're going to hang on to it anyway. This one is also from ColourPop. This is from their Villains collection. This is in the shade Hades. And it's like a peachy color, kind of like a peachy nude. Very cool. I love the packaging on this. It just gives me good feels. This was one of my very first uh, lipsticks from uh, Urban Decay. This is in the shade Tampered. So let's see how this looks. Actually, it still looks really, really good good there's no bumps or anything around it it doesn't even have a smell to it so i'm still really really excited for that i love this shade like it's this brownie mauveish color really pretty now this is another Too faced this is in um drunk dial this is another purple shade um i actually let me swatch the other pur the purple shades next to each other see if they are what they look like. So this is like a bright purple. 
kind of like a pinky purple almost. This one looks like it might be darker. Wow. No, it actually, it only a hint different. Just a slight hint. So the Too Faced is just a tad, like a very, very, very small amount darker than the Bobbi Brown. We're going to go ahead and hold on to those. I don't have a lot of bullet lipsticks anyway, so I'm not worried about keeping too many. Now, my Maybelline lipsticks, I love the Maybelline lipsticks. Um, this is in the shade of Brown Blush, Brown Blush 575. Um, uh oh, now this one looks like it's got the, the sweating around it, the little dots around it. Doesn't look like it's in the best shape. So I'm probably going to go ahead and toss this because I, I want to be careful. Um, this is easy replaceable because it's a pretty cheap lipstick. Um, but I love the shade of this, you guys. Like, brown blush. It's like this, once again, it's like this purpley brown tone lipstick. And it is amazing. It's so comfortable. So I'm going to have to set that aside because I'm going to go ahead and toss this just because of the fact that it has all the, the little beads around it. So... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get that replaced. The next one we have is 570 Toasted Truffle. I love this shade, you guys. Ugh, this one's starting to have the beads around it too. That kind of breaks my heart because this is one of my favorite shades. Um, this is like this light brown shade. It's beautiful uh, for uh, fall time. It does have the little sweat beads around it, so time to probably go ahead and uh, replace that one as well. And then the last one from the Maybelline is Raw Chocolate. Oh my gosh, I remember searching for this one. This one looks pretty bad. It's got all the bullets around, uh, the little sweat beads around it. Not really in good shape, but I will swatch it for you guys. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so pretty. These are these three shades are absolutely perfect for fall. So I definitely want to get those replaced. All right, the next one we have this is from Lorac, and this is actually part of their um, Beauty and the Beast collection. Uh, so this is in the shade Red Rose. This lipstick is gorgeous. Um, I love the shade of red that it is. It's like a pinky red, but it is buildable to be more true red. Starts off pink, but isn't that pretty? I love the way that looks, so I'm probably going to keep that one. All right, now these two MAC lipsticks, I think I got them just because I wanted something MAC and they were on sale during an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, um, but I never, ever wear them. Like, I might wear these but I will I never wear these and it drives me nuts but for some reason it's hard for me to get rid of them because you know they're my only MAC lipsticks so this is in the shade Velvet Teddy it's a very 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 pretty nude shade I think some of my uh, other lipsticks are definitely a lot more creamy than these um, a lot easier to wear that's really, really pretty. I don't know why I don't wear these. And this one is the Russian Red, which I think is a beautiful red shade. Now, I have worn this before, um, actually, but, oh my gosh, that's just a true deep red. Why don't I wear this? I don't know. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and hang on to these because that is gorgeous. That is freaking gorgeous. Okay, so this next bag, I love this bag. I got this from Sephora. Oh, stay still. Okay, so these are all my lip glosses. Um, so a couple of the ones I automatically know I'm going to keep are my Marc Jacob lip, uh, lip glosses because they are phenomenal and I know they're still good. So this is in the shade French Tickler, which is like a peachy, shimmery shade, beautiful. And this one is um, Pink Flamingo. Uh, definitely gonna keep my Fenty because it is beautiful. This is in the shade Fussy. Okay, this is another Marc Jacobs. This was limited edition. I freaking love this one. It's Shine a Light. It's a gold sparkly lip gloss. 
This is the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in the shade Goddess. I remember really, really enjoying this one. Uh, it's just like a purple gloss. It still smells fine, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. My Buxom Lip Gloss in Dolly. I love Buxom. Buxom is what I wear to work all the time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. This is another Buxom. This is in the shade Claire, which is just a pink sparkly one. Love it. All right, so this is my Huda Beauty um, lip gloss. This is in the shade Snobby. It's like a lip strobe. Um, very, very sparkly. Still smells fine. I really like that. Now, I know that I really enjoyed these Jouer, Jouer um, lip toppers. Um, I actually use them as lip gloss, not really lip toppers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep these because I use them quite a bit. I love the way they, they smell. These are really nice. I'm going to go ahead and keep those. Now here's where it starts getting tricky. So this Wet n Wild lip gloss, it's, it's Scorpio. I really, I don't know. The lip gloss is fine, but I really couldn't wear it out because the way that my lip is made on my top lip, it disappears. So I don't know if we're going to keep that one just yet. Um, this is a really, really pretty one from um, ColourPop. It's the Ultra Glossy Lip Gloss in the shade My Pet. Um, I typically don't like their lip glosses because of the... F Actually, it doesn't even look like I've even opened it. Wow. Because it comes on a brush. I don't really like the brushes. That shade's really, really pretty, though. Um, and it's the only one I have. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I think this one's a lipstick. So this is Bobbity from the Disney Designer Collection. Yeah, I think that's, well, no, it's a lip gloss. That shade's really pretty. And it's got a different applicator, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. This one's Boo. Oh yeah. These are a little bit more on the sticky side. Um, so I won't wear these to work because they'll get like all cakey around my mouth. Um, but they're really, really pretty. I can probably wear those in the summertime out and about. The camera stopped recording and I didn't even notice. So I don't know where you guys left off. But we got to the Tardius Glossy Paint Lip Paint in the shade Double Tap. I actually love this shade. But as you can see, it is separated inside. It actually looks pretty gross. So, uh, ew. Yeah, it's got like a, a film inside, like a yucky. Oh, <laughs> this thing is so old. I am getting rid of this. Um, that's gross. So, yeah. So this is in the shade Kristen. This is a lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I actually really, really enjoy the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. Um, stay still. This is one of my favorite lip glosses from her. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It still smells fine. I actually want to bring this out on my main table to see if I can use it again. Um, I do not like do not like her liquid lipsticks. I actually cannot stand them. I think they are terrible. Um, but her lip glosses, oh yeah, they are amazing. Okay, now this is from Too Faced's Peach Collection. I actually really, really, really enjoy these, um, these glosses. I love the way that they feel. I love the way that they smell. I just don't know if they're any good anymore, so I have to reopen them and smell them. Oh, that still smells heavenly. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm in heaven. Um, <laughs> if you ever get your chance to get these, I highly recommend these. They smell good. They feel hydrating. Um, truly enjoy those. So from this bag, we have, um, looks like a big fun collection. Okay, so we have the Melted Matte Lipstick from Too Faced. This is freshly baked. This was from the Candy Collection. Um, this is a little bit more pink than I, what I would like. It still smells really, really good. But um, 
I just, I don't know, I think I can wear it and then every time I put it on it's just way too pink. So I'm going to set that aside. This is a Hourglass Liquid Lip and this is in the shade Sublime. Really, really pretty shade. I don't even think I've used this before. Oh, that is a really pretty nude shade. Kind of got like a peach undertone. I almost kind of want to put that out. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put that out. This is a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. Now, when it comes to ColourPop Lippy, I actually prefer their Ultra Satin Lips because their um, their matte lips are not comfortable. I, I just, their Dolph applicators are a little bit messy to work with, um, but I still think they're really, really nice. Oh, that shade is so pretty. Okay, um, keeping that. So is this a gloss? Oh, this is a gloss. This needs to go in my other bag. This is in the shade Moonchild. That was from the Kathleen Lights collection. I think it looks more opaque, um, so that's probably why I put it in with the liquid lipsticks. Uh, next we have the Stila liquid lip, and this is in the shade Caramello. It's a really, really pretty shade. Very light. Hmm. All right, all right, we'll see. This is the Burt's Bees Tidal Taupe. I know I got this in one of my lip boxes. I so. Meh. Nah, it's okay. I don't know if it's necessarily my color. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. Uh, this is a Huda Beauty li Liquid Lip in the shade Flirt. I love this shade. It's like a brown shade. Very, very pretty. Perfect for fall. Kat Von D liquid lip. Now her liquid lips, man, they will dry your lips out. <laughs> um, this is in the shade Lud Ludwig. Oh gosh, I remember when this came out. It was like a big deal. It's still really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. This is Jeffree Star's Can't Relate. Uh, definitely keeping this. Huda Beauty is my favorite liquid lip, but Jeffree Star is my second favorite. Even though it is a little bright, I still love it. Let's see, what shade is this? Cap on D. Oh, this is her Lolita shade. This one, this one was really freaking popular. It's like a mauve brown shade. Beautiful. I'm still keeping that one. Flower Beauty. I actually remember keeping this one. Dark and Stormy. It's like a purpley shade. This is Barracuda from ColourPop. Oh, that's a dark mauve shade, like a mauve brown. I like that shade. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Kat Von D. This is Double Dare. I remember this actually not being the color I thought it was going to be when I got it on my lips. It comes out off a little bit more peachy. But um, I'm going to go ahead and keep her lipsticks. This is Calypso from ColourPop. See, there's, there's difference in colors on my arm. <laughs> oh yeah, I really enjoy that one. That one's really pretty. Boss. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite Bare Minerals Lippy. Um, this is so gorgeous. I love the way that this feels. I would say this is probably number three on my list of comfort. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I kind of want to go ahead and keep that out. This is in the shade Flirt Alert. I know my daughter finds these really, really comfortable. It's like this bubblegum pink, but um, I don't think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one because more than likely I'm not going to reach for it. I'll say that I will, but I don't think I ever will. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that All along. Right. I'm mostly going to keep everything in here. I know I pretty much love everything. My Wet n Wild Blue Lipstick, Jeffree Star, my Mystery Shade, the Red Shade, this is Jeffree Star Wifey. Yeah, Jeffree Star. Are you filming? Are we filming? Are you filming? There we go. Are you filming? I need to use this shade. It's very pretty red. I still haven't used this shade. I've wanted to use this shade so bad, but I haven't created a look yet for it. 
this is Shane's shade. So keeping that. Huda Beauty lipstick. This is like a deep cranberry in the shade Famous. ColourPop Ambush. I know I love that. Marc Jacobs shade Goddess. Make sure there's no like little sweats on here. No. Oh, it's still perfect. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I love this shade. This is from the Too Faced Melt and Matte Collection. This is the Gingerbread Man. It smells just like gingerbread. Um, this is from the Candy Collection from Too Faced. Um, it's like a bright orangey shade. It's very summer-like, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. YSL, I've <laughs> have I even used this? Maybe. Still very, very good condition. I know this is a pretty red shade. Um... This purple shade I bought specifically for my mermaid, but I'm going to go ahead and keep that anyway. Smashbox. This is a always on metallic matte. Um, I've never worn this. I don't think I will wear it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. Uh, let's see. Shade Anna Nicole. ColourPop. Rivere. Rivere. However, Kathleen Lights pronounced it. Um, Lady Balls, this is one of my favorite reds. This is from Too Faced. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And let's see. No tea, no shade. It's a very, very pretty color from Jeffree Star. Not exactly what I thought it was going to be, according to the lips on the, um, the website, but still pretty regardless. This is the Glitter Flip from Ciate London. I like the concept of it. I'm going to put this over here in the maybe pile. This is the Jeffree Star Watermelon Soda. This is definitely a more wearable pink for me um, than most shades I have. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. So there's not many in here. Jeffree Star. This is Calabasas. I love this shade from Makeup Forever. This is, um, I guess, number 105. It's definitely like a grungy lip, but I don't really have anything else like it. Um, I think it is so freaking cool looking so I know I'm going to keep that what is this this is kiss kiss bang bang no bullets keeping that um in famous another nude shade really pretty nothing wrong with that sonic truth like a nude shade Ooh, very light I wonder it kind of looks like beach babe from Too Faced keeping that uh slow burn Looks good. These had mostly came in a Christmas set. And this is Jador. Like a brown shade. That's really pretty. Dang, that's really pretty. See, you kind of forget what you have. And this is Lovecraft from Kat Von D. I don't even think I've worn it. Maybe once. It is a really pretty shade. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Okay, so right off the bat, I do see the other Kylie lip that I was talking about. This is in the shade One Wish. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I think I had gotten way more, but those are the ones that just stood out to me. So this is from Ciate London, too. This is Bittersweet. It's kind of like a, a grungy color as well. Yeah, see, so definitely like a grungy look. Oh, that's good for 36 months. Um, I know I haven't had it that long, so we're going to go ahead and hold on to that for sure. All right, these Dose of Color lips, Liquid Lipsticks, I actually really do enjoy. Um, I just don't like the applicator on here. So this is in the shade Knock on Wood. It's just like this light brown color. It's really, really odd. It's really, really different from anything else I have. Um, keeping that. This one is Campfire. It's like an orangey color really pretty for like spring or summer. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Let's see. This is Dose of Colors. This is Monday's. I'm not going to swatch this because I know this one stains like crazy. My hands are already stained up. Let's see. Then we have Chocolate Wasted. If you ever wanted a deep dark brown, Chocolate Wasted is definitely the way to go. It is stunning on the lips. I actually do have um, a look I did with this. Oh, it's beautiful. This one is Truffle. This is one of their most popular shades. It's definitely a nude shade. 
I think it's really, really, really pretty. These uh, have gone on sale twice on the 21 Days of Beauty sale. So if you want to keep an eye out next time um, and see if it goes on sale again. Now this one I just got. Um, this is in the shade Nude Mood. But it's, it's a little bit more on the peachy side. Really, really pretty. This is the other Bare Minerals color I have. It's XYZ. These are the only two that really stood out to me. Actually, I think there might have been a third, but that's like a brown nude shade. Oh, love it. Love it. All right. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. It's got to go back in my lip gloss bag. And this is in the shade Vintage. It's like a pink sparkly. This is my only Ofra uh, lip lipsticks from the Madison collection. I got this I think from from Ipsy. I actually really enjoyed it. Keeping that. Another Kat Von D. This is in the shade Bow and Arrow. I remember actually really enjoying this shade. Like a brown shade. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Alright this is definitely a little bit more of my darker nudes and my browns. Is that how I organize it? Is that how I was supposed to organize it? <laughs> Uh, this is in the shade Bombshell from Huda Beauty. Um, let's see, what are these two? Girlfriend and Trendsetter. Uh, if I could have every single one of these, I definitely would. So, love those. Keeping those. This is from the Sephora Satin Lip Stains. I think I had used this. Yeah, I used this for my uh, Wednesday Adams um, look. It's that deep cranberry, dark, goth shade. I love this shade, so I'm definitely keeping that. I have nothing else like it in my collection. Um, and this is in the shade Triggered. It's kind of along that, but definitely a little bit more purpley. So it's, it's definitely darker than that one. This one was just that cranberry shade. This can actually be a little bit too dark at times, but still keeping it and Jeffree Star liquid lips in the shade family jewels and mannequin mannequin is definitely a little bit too light but um still enjoy it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this purple because I know I'll use it in the future uh Jeffree Star red rum love it Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood. I ordered that one, keeping it. This one is so gorgeous. This is in the shade um, Bronze Blood. It's like this gold shimmery shade, but it's not too overpowering, so I'm definitely keeping that one. Uh, Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. Really love that shade. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Now I'm not going to swatch this one because I know this one stains like crazy. This is the Dose of Colors in the shade Extra Saucy. It's definitely like a, um, a, a red with a blue undertone. It's just really, really, really gorgeous. Love it. Um, I received this in a Sephora Play. This is Sephora Lip Stain. This is the red lip. I think it's definitely a blue undertone as well. Definitely up my alley. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. This is another Jouer Lippy in the shade Stardust. Keeping that one. I specifically ordered this one. This is a Frozen from ColourPop uh, in the shade Free Spirit. Love that. I'm not crazy crazy about this one. I have used it before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. This is a Hot Headed from the Villains Collection. This is from NARS. I can't even pronounce the name of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so pretty. Keeping that. It's got to go in my mini bag eventually. Uh, where is this from? Oh, this is Fenty Beauty. This is that bright, hot pink shade. So if I ever do a Barbie look, um, then I, <laughs> I need to go ahead and keep this. Because this is like perfect for var Barbie. Maybe I'll become Barbie for Halloween. Now I received this Morphe lipstick from Ipsy. Um, it was okay. The color was really pretty. I just, it drags a little bit when you apply it, but it's still really pretty. 
So it's my only Morphe lipstick, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that for now because it is very new. It's not going to go bad anytime soon. I and then we have, oh, this is my Betty Boop. I am not getting rid of this. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. Keeping that. This is from Hourglass. It's really pretty. I just used it the other day. It's like this light peachy shade. Kind of like a crayon. Keeping that. And this is from Context in the shade Sweet Emotion. It's really pretty. I do feel like I have other shades similar to that. And somebody else might get used out of this since bullet lipsticks go bad pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one on. Alright, so I've gotten rid of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, but these actually went bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. I do want to get these replaced because I do really enjoy these colors. Um, they're definitely unique to my collection. All the Maybellines are more so browns, and I really need those to, uh, for fall when that comes around. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and give away these five. So, yeah, I think I did okay. I don't really have, like, a huge lip collection. Um, I do need to rotate them better. So, I'm actually really glad I did this. Alright guys, so that's it for this lipstick to clutter. I hope it wasn't too painful for you. Um, hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.